Let's talk about enabling and disabling site features. Now be aware, several things play a part in the features that are available at the site level. First thing, if you are using SharePoint Online Enterprise, you will have more features and options than if you were using standard online. Also, if you are sitting at a site that is not the root site, some features can only be available and activated at the collection level first before you can then activate them at the site level. Now we're sitting at the research site and this is a subsite or a child site. It is not the, the top of the collection. And we're going to go into the COG and we're going to go down to our site information and then all site settings. Now in here, now we could go up to central admin, but we are, pardon me, the central collection. We're going to manage site features at this level. Now we have quite a few choices here. There is a brief explanation. Brief. Now, we are going to go down and I want to draw your attention to this option here. SharePoint Server Publishing. Now, it looks like we could just activate it here, but this is one component that the parent or the root, the top of the collection, must have the publishing infrastructure enabled for us to actually activate it here. Now the one that we're going to do at this level is the content organizer. We're going to activate that. It's going to take a second. Now this does something very specific for us. It gives us a drop-off library. So users that notoriously put documents in the wrong location would be instructed to put things here and based on rules, they would be routed accordingly. Now, how do those rules function? Well, let's do a little exercise. Now, we do have research procedures here and it's just a standard document library and we have documents and it's a standard documents library. We're going to create a policy, pardon me, a rule so that if someone uploads a document to our drop-off library then it will be routed automatically to the research procedures. Now, let's create the rule. And let's go to our site information and site settings. And we're looking for, under the site administration, the content organizer rules. We have no rules. Let's make a new one. Now, the rule is route to research, and it's a medium priority. It is based just on documents as content type, and what kind of property? Well, currently we only have three. It's possible to configure more based upon mandatory fields or different content types. I'm going to say if the name contains, notice I have all of these choices, research, that's the condition, then send it to research procedures. Now that's the first rule. We're going to do another new rule, and this one, 
is going to be route to research v2 again based upon just normal documents content type no this time it's title contains research so one was based on the name and one was based on title and send it to research so we have two new rules now the content organizer rules only apply to the drop-off library that's the only thing now we better make sure that the drop-off library actually does appear where you think it should appear because you'll notice it's not here we did turn it on but by default we don't see it here so let's go to site contents and there's the drop-off library and let's go here to the library and library settings now there's different ways of doing it I could copy and paste the URL right? let's look at name description and navigation and I want this on the quick launch all right now I should see the drop-off library now I can move this around so it could appear up near the top so here I am a user and the user is going to go and get a document and upload it so let's upload and it does give us a little notice we're going to find a file and we're just looking for any sort of file here uh, let's go to documents and see what we can find here and it's going to ask us a question once we've identified it it's taking a moment again it warns you now I'm going to leave the name but the title is research demo so should that trigger the rule let's submit it wait for a second and it was saved to the final location where was the final location research research procedures so it should never reside in the drop-off library it should be routed to where it needs to go you can have as many rules as you want